Hello everybody. A couple of days ago in the post I received my new Freestyle Insulinx uh, blood glucose meter. Um, so I thought I'd make a small video on that. Um, but I don't really intend it to be a sort of full unboxing and review of, of the, the Insulinx. Um, because I think there's plenty of those on the internet already. But because I already own the, the AccuCheck Aviva Expert, what I thought I would do is take a look at the two side by side and discuss some of the pros and cons of both of those meters. So I think that's what we'll, we'll feature on here. Okay, the first thing we'll take a quick look at is the, the test strips. Okay, um, there's the, the AccuCheck Aviva one. There's the Insulinx one. As you'll notice, the, the Insulinx test strip, um, which is also used with the other Freestyle meters, so they're known as the Freestyle light test strips, um, is a fair bit smaller than the AccuCheck one. Um, that may be a benefit or it may be a drawback for you. Um, there is... Um, a slight difference in the way that you take a, a sample of these. Um, with, with the AccuCheck one, the part where you apply the blood is right on the, the tip here, um, and it is quite a large sample that's needed. The So you go end on to the blood sample like that. With the Insulink strips, I um, don't know whether you can see it, um, these two pads here and there is a little divot on each side as you can see which they they call the zip wick um, the idea is is that with that little little divot there you touch touch that onto the blood sample and there's a divot on on either side of it so it doesn't matter which which way round you go uh, you use one or the other and it uses a tiny little sample um, and it seems to give quite accurate readings. Um, one advantage that I've found with with the Freestyle Light test strips is that if you don't get enough blood on it the first time round, you're, you've got time to squeeze a little bit more blood out and apply some, some more. You've got 60 seconds to do that in, whereas with the AccuCheck ones, you have to be quite, you know, have the right amount of blood first time round. The next thing to take a quick look at is the size and build quality of the two meters um, because obviously it's a little bit difficult to judge in in marketing photos and that of the two on the internet but the reality of it is when you line the two up side by side there's not a lot in it um, the interlinx may be a tiny fraction taller and when you lay them over, you know, the width is, as you can see, virtually exactly the same. The real difference between the two um, is the height of the two. As you can see, the, the interlinx here on the bottom um, is quite quite thin, whereas the Aviva Expert is, is substantially thicker. There is a substantial weight difference between the two as well. This this feels quite solid and chunky. Um, it's quite weighty. Um, whereas this one, um, in comparison, feel, feels um, quite light and a little bit more, um, should I say, plasticky. I know they're mo both made of plastic, but you know this one feels more it than than the Aviva Expert. The next difference, um, obviously, is the weight. As I, as I said, and that is because um, partly in the back of the the Aviva Expert it uses AAA batteries, um, which to some people may be more of an advantage to what the Insulinx use, which is uh, the button cells CR2032s. Um, to be honest, they're a very popular battery, and both of the meter companies will send send you free free batteries if you if you need them um, so it's wise to get those in in advance um, but obviously there is a, a difference in in the weight of those two types of batteries um, and obviously I think part of the reason that the 
the AccuCheck is so so thick here is probably because a lot of that space is taken up with those batteries. I would say that one of the reasons why the AccuCheck has gone for um, the type of battery that they've gone um, is obviously there's more power in them. If I power up this meter here, what you notice is it's got a backlit colour screen um, and that is constantly backlit um, so it can be a bit of a battery muncher um, I think I have to change these, these batteries about every six months um, it's not the biggest of issues because as I say they, they will send you free batteries um, I think uh, one of the reasons why the Interlinx gets away with that is that it's just a plain black and white LCD screen if I start it up there um, you'll, you'll notice there is no continual backlighting on that there is a backlight if you want to turn it on okay so there's there's the backlighting there um, but these LCD these black and white LCD screens that aren't constantly backlit obviously use less battery power um, so that's going to be one reason for that I think now that we've got the two side by side um, one of the biggest differences between the two um, is the fact that the Interlinx um, is actually touchscreen operated whereas the AccuCheck is, is not you have to use um, these buttons here to control all of the features of it um, so for example on this one if I want to go into the logbook I just press um, logbook there and it brings up um, my recent readings and we can can scroll down there and take a quick look at some of those I've only done about 20 tests on this so far and we'll, we'll cover what some of these are in a bit um, as you can see you, you just press press the screen to do that whereas on the Yankee check if I switch it back on I can say you'll use this joypad button here so if I wanted to go down and see see what data I have in there um, I just use this pad down here um, and view data and then we can scroll scroll down here just keep pressing the button um, and you'll see see here um, that's obviously the the time and there's the, the actual blood readings there okay so that that's the biggest difference between the two is the color screen and the the fact that one's touch screen the other's not moving back to the interlinx um, touch screen here um, one of the, the big downsides of this particular meter um, being that it's an LCD screen um, and it's not constantly backlit um, is that it can be very difficult to see dependent on, on what lighting um, is in the room that you're, you're using it in um, it can be very difficult to see that and to activate the, the backlight on this one there is a button right here and you have to push and hold that for about three seconds and then the backlight will come on um, so obviously if you're if you're wanting to do a, a test or use the meter in, in the dark um, you do have to press and hold that button for the three seconds to get the light so yeah, the screen quality and viewability on here is is probably the, the biggest um, negative to this meter Whereas, as I've said, on, on this meter here, um, the very second you turn it on, the backlight is, is there. Um, you can um, make it dimmer or brighter by pressing this, this button down, down here, but it is always there. So this is the big advantage of this meter. And when we're talking about lighting, um, if we move back to the, the interlinks, is when the backlight's on, 
if we were to insert a test strip in here um, there is actually a, a port light which we can if I go back to the home screen we can see see here there's, there's the test port light um, and if I actually put a test strip in there you'll notice it is quite well illuminating the front of that test strip um, and if I take it near my finger or my thumb in this case you, you'll notice that it is bright enough to illuminate the finger um, so that you can in dim light um, have a good aim on, on your blood sample Okay. The the AccuCheck um, is just a, a plain test port. There is no no illumination on there. Um, just black. Um, it might might be easier to aim your, your test strips in if if they made that a different colour. Maybe maybe white. But as it as it is, um, yeah. This obviously has the negative point on that. As I say, the the biggest problem with me is what I would like is a setting in here um, that you can choose that, that the backlight is always on. I know it'll have a negative effect on, on the batteries, um, but rather than than turning the, the meter on, waiting, and then pressing a button for three seconds to, to get some illumination, um, I would rather to be able to go into settings, which which is up here, and have an option for backlight, which isn't there. One thing I've noticed though is there is um, a computer software for this, um, which does allow you to update the firmware um, in this device. So I'm hoping that in the future they would release a version of the firmware that has has backlight settings on it and allows you to to um, choose that um, and then um, the other thing is is that you can't have the backlight and the port light on at the same time it's one or the other um, I'd like to be able to have both on at the same time um, or have it so that the backlight's always on and when you insert a strip it puts the, the port light on for you um, because you'd be able to get a strip in, in the dark it's, it's got that nice yellow pad there so you roughly know where you're going both of these meters have um, on-device reports. Um, so let's go into the logbook on this one. Now obviously not only do we have the logbook, but up here in this corner um, is a little chart symbol, which if we, we press here, um, it's, it's got very basic information on here. Um, it says, I've done 21 tests in total. 19 of them were high two of them were in the range that I want to be in um, let's just bring that backlight back on again and zero were low um, you can filter these um, by pressing that arrow up there and you can choose to to show results that are before meal only so in this case before meal tests um, five were high one were in range that is advanced, as advanced as the on-device reports get on this meter. Where the the AccuCheck version excels is they've got slightly more advanced um, reports on here. So if I go down to my data, and we can go down to reports, um, BG averages, okay, and that's showing for the last 90 days using the the backwards and forwards arrows we can change that to to different types there so that's last seven days last 14 days um, trend um, now that can either give you you see a little point graph or down here if we press this button down here you can change that to to a table and again um, that's showing the last seven days eight hours 24 hours things like that um, again similar reports for for day week and then quite handy um, one down here here's a little bar graph uh, if we change that to the last 
90 days, okay, sorry, not bar graph, um, pie graph. Um, Grey being above, so I'm obviously, you know, percentage wise here, as you can see, generally above the the reading that I want to be um, within range is there. So this has got quite nice um, on device reports. Now, obviously, with online or on device reports like this, um, the big downsides, uh, downside, sorry, is obviously the size of the screen. Um, both both screens aren't massive or you know super high resolution, um, so there is a limit to to the data that you can be shown on them. The way around this is to use computer-based software um, where you can download the results from, from the meter into the computer-based software and both companies provide software to, to do that. Um, is you can then analyse it and you can print reports and things like that and you can email them to, to your nurses if, if that's what they want um, and you can get a much better view. Now the way that this is done um, on on the Interlinx is it has just a, a micro USB port on the side there. You you plug it into a USB cable um, and built into the the device here, um, actually within the firmware itself, is the installable files to install on both Windows and Mac. Um, uh, directly on the machines you don't have to purchase the software um, most computers now have USB ports on them so you just link it up um, and away you go you download the data and you can view and email and print the reports do, do what you want on there you can export it to use in, in other programs um, and manipulate the data yourself the way it's done on um, the uh, AccuCheck Viva Expert is it's up here got an infrared port but there is no other connection ports on here at all so you have to um, uh, buy the the AccuCheck um, either their 360 software which is is the best one and it comes with with a, a little um, infrared receiver and the software um, it ch costs about 25 pounds if if I remember rightly also available is the AccuCheck smart picks um, which is is another um, infrared reading device um, with inbuilt software um, I've got both um, the 360 is the best software package it's the one that's used by by most of the diabetic nurses that, that I've ever seen, um, they they understand the software. Whereas Smart Picks um, is just far too basic for my liking. Um, again, the Smart Picks reader um, and software um, costs twenty five, twenty six pounds. Um, so that is the the big downside with with this one. Um, and the other thing is is that the software will only run on Windows. Um, I, I run a Mac, so the only way that you could get it to run on a Mac is to install Parallels and install Windows um, as, as a virtual desktop and then install it onto that. So, you know, that does slow things down. As I say, the, the Insulinx comes with, with the software built in, um, which to me, um, from from the basic usage I've had so far, seems to to do everything I need it to do. Um, particularly, it exports the the data so that you can can do import it into other programs. I, I normally use SI Diary, um, and more importantly, is the software that's on here um, is both for for PC and Mac. Now, there is one small problem with that at the moment. Um, the version that's on the meter, um, which is is version one of the software for the Mac, um, does not work with the new mountain lion. Now, there is a version 1.2, um, which I have downloaded as an update. Um, it's a little bit tricky to do, um, and that does work perfectly well on on the Mac for me. Um, 
if you want instructions on on how to do that um, or or maybe even the download files then then do let me know um, and I can point you in the right direction um, but like I say that's that software is totally free though both meters come with obviously a case um, there's Sorry, going in the wrong way around. There's there's the AccuCheck case. Um, it is actually quite a, a sturdy case. Um, it's it's got um, padded covers right the way around. Um, quite tight fitting. Um, the Insulinx one um, is is a lot more flimsy, but it does it does fit in there relatively well. But the idea of both of these these um, meters is that they have onboard insulin calculators. So um, most people have to carry an insulin pen um, with them. In which case, these these may not not be um, suitable cases for you at all. Um, I never use them. In fact, I I I have this here. So there's an insulin pen. Um, Zoom out a bit. Insulin pen, uh, finger pricker, test strips, some dextrose tablets, needles, spare lancets if needed, and the meter sits quite nicely in there. So that's everything that I need, and there's enough enough supply in there for for one day day at work. Um, you know, both both meters fit in there perfectly well. Let's just grab the. Let me check it so as you can see both pretty much the same size. Okay, I think the last thing that we'll we'll do here um is just do a blood test on on the freestyle. Um freestyle insulinx because it's just um coming up to to my lunchtime. I'll turn the, the backlight on so that you can see what's going on here. Oh, sorry. That's the port light. But I will will run through, so I'll just grab a blood sample here. I say only a small amount of blood needed. Um, so let's just take that. Okay, it's now asking the question: Is this before meal? after a meal or another time so if I say this is before my meal my current reading is 9.0 now obviously I'm about to to eat um, so if I press calculator okay it's asking have I had any rapid acting insulin since 0757 this morning um, the answer to that is no uh, how many grams of carbs am I going to have? Um, so we use the up and down arrow here on the touch screen. Now I'm going to have 40 grams of carbs for for lunch. Um, this is one thing I don't like about this meter is those units go up individually on the AccuCheck. If you keep your finger on the button, um, it'll go up in five units of five. Um, so there we have it, there's 40 grams of carbs, if I click on that, it's suggesting that I should have 6 units of insulin for that, um, obviously the, the, the amount of insulin it recommends will be different for, for each person's individual setup, um, which is done by, by the, the diabetic nurse for you. Um, so I can adjust that if I think that, that I need more or less. If I'm going to go out and I'm going to do a lot of exercise in the afternoon, I could take a unit or two less and I could log that. So if I click log dose, okay, goes into the log book. Um, so my reading was 9.0 date and time. It shows shows a little apple there to show that it was, was pre-mill and a little injector pen to show that that um, it's recommending an insulin dose. We can click on that log result and it will show you 
um, the makeup of why it's recommended the six units um, for in this case for 40 grams of carbs it's recommending that I have four units of insulin and because 9.0 is above my target um, it's recommending two units of insulin to to take me back to to the level that I want to be at if I go into the logbook let's see if I've got yeah so I've got an 80 I was 18.5 there um, let's just see what it, it recommended there um, seven units was recommended um, for the insulin minus one unit because I'd already had active insulin in in the body so that's my makeup there for that um, now that I've just had or been told to take some insulin a, a little figure of a body appears here and if you click on that it will tell you how many units of, of active insulin are now in your body so it's telling me that, that I've got six active units of insulin in my body and it will take that into account if if I say that I want to take any more insulin um, as time goes by the figure of that person gets gets hollower and hollower and as that time time there goes down the only other thing on here that you can do um, is if we go into to logbook there is a little picture of, an in, of a pen up there, which if you click it, you can choose whether you want to log um, an injection um, without doing a blood test. One is for long-acting insulin, which is obviously your overnight stuff, and then one for rapid-acting. So if I was to click on there, it shows how many units I last took, um, because most people take the same day in, day out. Um, and I would just log that as, as 24 units. We'll just do a quick test on the AccuCheck just so that you can, can see how that works. And just run through the, the bolus wizard there. Um, so let's choose another finger this time. So there's another sample of blood okay apply the sample that says I'm 8.9 um, there will always be differences between them on here what you do using the up and down arrows is choose meal time Pre meal carbs. As I said, if you press and hold the, the up button, and as you see, they are going up in in five units, and individual presses will will take it up um, in single digits. Um, that is the only downside of the insulin, um, an upside of this really um, health. So at this point, I could say I'm going to do some exercise, and it will it will um, adjust. Um, the insulin based on whether I've, I've told told it that I want to increase or, or decrease it um, and down here it says I've got no active insulin in my body so we, we would press press bolus um, what this is recommending I take because um, I think I've got slightly different settings in here is this is suggesting that I should take seven units of of insulin um, down there and I can press confirm on that um, the way that this this has worked it out is that I should have five units for the 40 grams 1.6 units for the fact that that I've got a higher reading than I should have um, as I say I've got the rates set up slightly differently on this one um, I was being a little bit more conservative on the insulin being a, a new meter um, I can tweak those my, myself later um, so that they they match. Um, I just wanted to get a little bit of trust for the meter first, um, and then you just press confirm, and it says um, please please inject your 
your seven units um, and then that's that's in the logbook um, so anyway I hope that um, if your nurse um, says pick one of these two meters um, and you're lucky enough to, to have the option of one or the other um, that this little video sort of helps guide you in the right direction um, if you have any specific questions about either one of the two meters please please do um, ask in the comments below and I'll I'll try to answer the questions for you um, my opinion on my final opinion on both of them is that you know they both have positives they both have negatives um, at the end of the day I think they're they're both about equal um, and you have to make your choice between whether you want the touch screen um, and the possibility of you can customize background pictures on here if if, if you link it to a computer um, things like that um, or whether you want to go to to the old style press button um, that is is totally preference um, me for the time being I've changed my prescription already um, to to get the 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 freestyle test strips um, like I say I think they're they're both um, equal quality overall um, or or should I say functionality um, so yeah I hope it helps.